it fell apart on me just now. Look, Vinny. Too delicate, cannot move it. Damn, this thing already fell off on me. It looks pretty, it does look pretty. I'll give you that, man. Actually, it looks pretty good. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and look at this. Yes, from our friendly Wange, or Wange. Wange. Wunga. Wang. Check out my Wang, man. You wish this thing was a modular. You wish this thing could be a lot of things, but it can only be one thing. So while this looks mighty, mighty fine, it might be a little bit of a challenge to build some parts and wait till you see the inside. I can't wait to show you that. If you know Wang Gei, you know what you're gonna get. So this is Wang Gei's architecture, China ancient hotel. Number 6312, 1,643 pieces. Is it nice? You look at it, you judge, you guys tell me. It does look pretty cool, I have to admit. You know, when I was building the first floor, I was like, please, please just be secure. This is going really, really well. Structure-wise, it is super, super delicate, man. You gotta be so careful with this thing. And the manual is actually really easy to look at. They made it bigger this time. Yes, one gay, thank you for making the manual nice and big. Can you guys see that? Here, I put it right here. Yeah, it's like they heard me, they said, we gotta make our manuals bigger so Scotty can read it easier. It is a lot easier to read. But this set is far from perfect. Man, come on, Wange. You're getting there, you're almost getting there. First thing you'll notice on the front, sides, and back, it is fully tiled. It is only one pattern, like chessboard right there. You play chess on this thing. It's okay, those colors, I don't know. It doesn't really look like a pavement, does it? Could have been more like a sidewalk looking thing or they could have made little patterns here and there. Okay, that's okay, everything else looks kind of intricate. We'll start on the front there. Now, along the front, uh, well, I'm guessing that's the front. It's got a big sign right there. And the sign is printed, by the way, and that translates as New China Restaurant. So it's got a hotel on the top, I'm guessing, and the bottom is a restaurant, because along the bottom there, look, they have little studs that are, I guess, as food. Is that food? Maybe that's a tashu bao. Barbecue pork bun? You guys enjoying the little buttons down there in the windows of the display, the food display, you better enjoy it because that's the only thing you're gonna see on the set. Now they have a big gaping hole there. There ain't nothing inside. It is super, super plain on the inside. It is hollow and empty on the bottom floor. What kind of a restaurant serves buns on the outside and nothing on the inside? Okay, so above the buttons, you got a couple of windows there and that is it, my friends. It's just a holy looking place. Now with that being said, if you're into like doing your own mocks or you want to try to design yourself, you got a lot of stuff to play with inside there. You can knock yourself out and mod it around and have some fun with it. We come to this side here. It looks really nice. I like the second floor. I like that design. And the lanterns that are hanging there are very simple. But to be brutally honest, I do kind of like the overall look and feel of it. It looks really nice on the shelf, by the way. But that's it. That's all you're going to have this for. A display piece. A beautiful Asian display piece. This is the side that will terrify you because it's so freaking scary. It is really, really fragile. The way they built this thing, man, this thing's gonna fall apart on you. But once you get it there, once you get it down like that, it's actually pretty okay. But man, the second floor balcony piece, it was like, oh, why did they make it like that? Oh man, look at these little pieces. They're just hanging off like, they just hang off there. That should be considered an illegal technique. What the hell, Wangu? It's built down up, man. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that, man? I know, I sound like I'm ranting on the set. It's not that bad. Oh no, see, look, I'm just knocking everything down. But hey, at least I got a pointer so I can be like, rooftop is here, looks really nice. Yeah, at least you got a table right here. You can sit down here. Four chairs with a little bit of yellow on it. And I don't know about the yellow color either, man. The yellow kind of makes it splash out a little bit too much. Maybe they could have toned that down a little bit. You have to line up these little pillars perfectly. If you don't, it will collapse on you. I don't know if I like that. And these little one by two things right here, like along the railing over here, they're just kind of pushed in. It's almost like unfinished. They should have some studs on the other side, which I'll show you to hold them down a little bit better. That's just me. But hey, look, they actually put a little table up there. 
Yay, at least we have some furniture on the outside there. We come back here to this side, just the staircase. Right here, the staircase kind of didn't reach the floor, but almost did. It stretches. If you try to push it down, it might pop this part off, and now everything will start popping off on you. One game, man, what are you doing? All you have to do is just secure this, and it would have been just fine. But no. When it's done and put on the shelf with the other architecture sets, it actually looks pretty good. It just, it's irritating me at the same time, man. Now next to the table, it has a sign up there, it's printed again. It says Jing Chuan Room. That's a direct translation, there is no meaning. So that's gotta be like the hotel room. And look at your room. Look at that beautiful room. There's nothing inside this room, man. Plain, 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 plain. Oh man. I just had to rebuild this whole section where you guys saw fall apart, but it's tighter now, surprisingly. It's more secure now. Don't touch it. Don't even put your minifigures on it. There's only one door to this hotel and you have to go upstairs to get to it. So the entrance here is kind of interesting. I use a half an arch there, I don't know why. And next to that is a closed off kind of window design. At least they have a design there. And both sides are exactly the same. They kind of replicate each other. You got three windows on both sides. Yeah, the, only the other side has the sign of the restaurant for downstairs. One gate, it just feels like you're missing a little bit more here. Maybe a little bit more structures on the bottom. Maybe if you guys do buy it, you can secure the bottom a little bit more with some pillars there. There's nothing down there anyway. You can just probably put more support down there. So when you press down, it's not as flimsy. But I can already feel it like being kind of flimsy there. So now the question is, is this modular? Can the top come off? Does it look like it can come off? I'm scared to take this thing off, man. Oh, 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 look. Oh, oh, the top can come off. The roof was a little bit loose there for a second, but there you go, very simply made. You can put your hands inside, yippee. But there's nothing in there. You guys wanna see the inside? I don't wanna break this thing if I tilt it. Nothing, kinda reminds me of that Sunshine Hotel, but that was on a much greater scale. Okay, so you wanna see the floor on the bottom? Check it out. Yeah, that's not happening, guys. This part is not modular. I wish it could come off to get to the bottom. Arr, uh. You know, if you do put a minifigure on the inside down there, good luck to ya. So even though Wange uses big pieces for the rooftop, it is really fragile, can come apart, so be really careful when you're putting it together. And there is studs here that you can put the roof onto, but I could never line it right and properly. And don't push down too hard on this, because this thing will collapse on you, and it's really nothing special. Here, you know, you just gotta be careful. I can already feel some parts coming loose here like this. Be careful, just, you know, put it here, leave it alone, don't touch it, and it will look pretty. So you gotta be careful. <gasps> no, it fell down, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? But it's easy to put back on here. Put this back on here, there we go. Oh no, please don't fall apart on me. It's dimension time. Bring out your 32 by 32 base plate. Let's put it down together. That is 32 studs by width. And by the way, the set actually uses two plates. One is a 32 by 32, and the other one is an 18. Yeah, the 18 is right there, just so you know. And the 32 is over here, there. So that makes this 48 studs by length. And just for kicks, if I put two base plates there together, you can see how it'll sit. Maybe we'll put this on top like that. So you guys should probably build this there and put a little bit more things on the side. Yeah, no? All right, let's check the height. So take out your one by four bricks, put them on your plate, slide this across there, and that is, ooh, that is 27 bricks in height, or almost, like just touching there, yeah? There you guys go. You know what, in my opinion, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give the look of this like a six, because it doesn't have doors on it, would have been a little bit higher. You know, for buildability, First floor was like a solid nine, and then you get to this part right here, and that's like a two, man. If I had to give this thing a score, I wouldn't even know what to give it. I think someone asked before to try to compare this with the Zingbao sets. Let's pull out a couple, okay? I'll pull out a couple for you guys. Here's Zingbao's hotel. Put that there. We'll move this lovely tank out of the way. Does it look like it goes together, guys? I'm not quite sure, you know? Put this one here, or we can slide this out of the way. This is the silk store from before, put this here like that. Yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't really match, right? Put it like this, how about like that? Oh, we'll flip this around like that, because we don't want to see that staircase. 
sideways. It kind of looks a little bit better there. This is like the older Chinatown series, so it's, the red really stands out a lot more. These ones kind of go together a little bit better, you know, but look at that base plate, man. Chest, I'm telling you. Here's my old Hoya architecture. Man, this thing is really collecting dust. Mini Sam, you're gonna have to clean all these, huh? Which one? All my sets. <laughs> Not yet. I cleaned it later. Every month, you have to clean this. But there, there they are together. What do you guys think? You guys like them? Put this one down like that. They're very similar in terms of like sideways. Why do they always think it's sideways for? Okay, put it here. Oh, it's the same size base plate too. There you go. Here I'll do a little slide like that. Yeah. Look at that combo. Yeah. So there you guys go. That's China's ancient hotel. It is ancient in a way that if we touch it, it may crumble on you. But in the end, you know, if you're gonna build this thing for a display piece, I do admit it does look nice. I kind of wish it had some doors on there at least, or a little bit more on the pavement here with some greenery, some trees. All right, you guys, it's time to get into the next video. Until next time, bring me out. Who designed this? You suck. Maybe that's their apology of saying sorry about the set, but here, here, have some extra pieces. Make your own extra structured wall. By the way, the set comes with 40 minifigures. That's right, 40. I'm just joking with you guys. It comes with zero minifigures. I don't mind it coming without the minifigures. I just mind this, man. I'm just practicing my moves because you never know when we're going to be in a battle. That's okay, you know. Why do you have to be on the table? We eat food on the table. Don't stand on it. Hey, man, I got to stand up here to be like a superhero, you know? Where's Monster Truck Driver? Did I just feel the floor move? Yeah, man, you got to be really careful. You got to tiptoe through this thing. The good thing about that is we can be stealthy, man. You got to learn your stealth moves. Tiptoe on this thing. Scotty, are you serious? I think you're getting into this way too much. Oh, see, I told you, man. You gotta watch your step. Scotty, sometimes I just don't know about you. Oh, oh, you're right. You gotta watch your step on that thing. Where is he, man? He's gotta be somewhere around here. Oh, I think I hear him. Dear, be careful where you're standing, because you never know. This thing kind of falls apart. Ouch! Dang it, you're right. Put on your freaking bun. How the heck am I supposed to get the button from here? Am I supposed to smash the glass? I can't do that. Maybe I'll find some inside. Hey guys, I'm in here. Come on, join me. I found some buns. It's not much though. And don't come in too far. It'd be really hard to get out of here. Mmm, tashu bao. I want to eat that barbecue bun. Come on, Scotty. Let's eat and go. You guys, enjoy your bun. I'm gonna pose with my sword, stand right here. I wanna look like a superstar. Uh, Scotty, we're all ready to go, Eddie. You're taking so long. You just gonna stand and pose there all day? You done it yet? Sheesh, you're taking so long. Okay, I'm done. Let's go.